tonight, living in fear. No, someone's just come and put my window through in my house. Can communities beat the yobs? Right, listen, that's all I'm hearing. It's not like you said. Right? That's something your parents would like to see you do. Good evening and welcome to the Tonight programme. At the start of the year, I investigated how antisocial behaviour was ruining the lives of families across Britain. Twelve months on, we have a new government and a new approach. The Prime Minister, David Cameron, believes the best way to combat it is by communities taking control of their streets. He calls it the big society. But as Fiona Foster reports, who wants to take on the yobs when you are living in fear? The public are being asked to investigate the louts. The spirit that we need is the big society spirit. The Prime Minister believes that yobbish behaviour and petty crime can be reduced if more of us play a role in communities. It's the spirit you see just down the road from this conference centre in Balsall Heath, where local residents were fed up with the pimps and the prostitutes and the gangs and the drug dealers. So they set up street patrols to clear them out of the area and turn what was a no-go zone into a desirable place to live. Yet many people feel they're fighting a lone battle against the yobs and thugs on our streets. Now, I've stood up to a lot of violence and I've tried to, to do the right thing as people want, as the Home Secretary, and we've got to stand up, reclaim our streets. And you find that you do that alone. You find that you do it with no support, with the authorities often um, belittling the impact, um, with them criticising you for, for standing up, for challenging them. And you feel, well, what's the point? What is the point of all this? Dealing with antisocial behaviour, dealing with harm in communities is our mission. Uh, that's our professional mission. Um, and despite the fact that we have to do with, with less money, um, it, was, it will still be at the heart of, of, of everything we do. So there's no excuses here. Uh, there's, a, there's a positive, uh, optimistic approach to continue to, to, to improve uh, and continue to get to grips with antisocial behaviour. Uh, but nobody can deny that we're going to have to do that with less money. If the thin blue line is about to get thinner, then we might need more of this. I think we're on our way then. This is Street Watch, a community policing project in Hampshire. Teams of residents patrol the streets. Hello. Today, Marilyn, David and Sylvie have been asked to find some teenagers throwing snowballs. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Suspects are identified. They fit the description we were given by the two elderly ladies. Oh, well, we'll have a flight work with them. Were you around at the old people's places earlier? The situation is resolved with a quiet word with the officer. The project embodies David Cameron's vision of local people tackling local problems. The scheme started three years ago with just eight volunteers. Now it's spread to 20 groups across three counties. And it's been a huge success. Antisocial behaviour is down more than 30% in this part of Hampshire alone. Well, I started this in a very small group. First of all, I was experiencing quite strong antisocial behaviour, and I sat and thought about what could be done. Uh, felt very alone, actually, because you're dealing with the situation on your own, and it can be threatening, and you don't know what's going to happen next. Got to know a few more people who are interested in trying to resolve the problems, and then when heard about Street Watch, and that started to find out that there are lots of people out there worried about it, concerned, and want to do something. There's no denying the strong community spirit here. 